So I'm thinking about starting up a new series of videos and I think I'm gonna call it a student asked. And recently a student asked me, how can I answer test questions between croup and epiglottitis? Now the first question that always gets brought up is, is it viral or is it bacterial? And if we think of those two words, croup is a very small word. Epiglottitis is a much bigger word. Well, so is viral and bacterial. Viral, small word, that goes with croup. Bacterial, big word, goes with epiglottitis. Now let me show you some buzzwords that I look for in an exam. Whenever I'm looking for croup, are they talking about winter months? Croup. Are they talking about a gradual onset? This child's been sick for days. Croup. Are they saying a low grade fever? Maybe less than 102. Croup. Are they using the term coughing, a barking cough? Do they use the term seal bark? They're not always gonna do that for you. If they do, they're giving it away. And with epiglottitis, was it an acute onset? Is there a high grade fever over 102? Is the child drooling? These are all different things that I'm looking for with epiglottitis. Now these test questions aren't as scary as they seem. Whenever you see these buzzwords, it should jump out of the page and you now know how to answer these type of test questions. And one more thing to note is they don't always use the term croup. They might say laryngotracheobronchitis. I know it's a mouthful, but look out for that on your exam. Now, if this was helpful, let me know some other topics you want me to talk about.